Welcome back. In the first video, we created a banner using a, a photograph and converted it into a symbol. And now we have this happening where the banner is fading in in the first half second or so. So in this video, we are going to add some text and have that animated as well. So first things to do is name the first layer and I'm going to double click on it and rename it background and now I'm going to add a new layer by clicking the layers button right here and I'm going to lock the first layer so I don't accidentally put anything on that layer or make changes to it now I'm going to take my text tool and I'm going to place my text tool right in the center of the banner and I am going to type in the name of the website and I am going to highlight all the text and I'm going to make it a bit bigger and now I'm going to highlight the text and I'm going to change it to something a little simpler I'm looking for Perpetua which is a kind of a printer's type and I'm going to change the color to a lighter color. So now when I click outside of it, there it is. And I am going to use the black arrow to move the text up and to the left, about like that. So now I'm ready to create an animation, but the first thing I have to do is make sure that this is a symbol so that we can animate it. So I'm going to go up to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and I'm going to put Title for the name of my movie clip. Click OK. So now I have the title here, and I'm going to Frame 1. And as you can see, there is no banner here. So I'm going to move this keyframe over to where the banner is fully visible. So all I did was click on frame 1 and I clicked again and dragged it over to frame 25 where the keyframe is for my background to be fully visible. Now inside of Flash we have some presets for motion tweens. So they are in window and looking for motion presets. The motion presets are in a folder called default presets and you can test out uh, what these look like. They have this little funny ball bouncing in or blurring. You can, bur you can fly in from the left, from the right, from the top, from the bottom. So I'm going to use this fly in left and I want it to stop where my text is right now. If I click the apply button it will start at that point. But if I hold down the shift key on my keyboard and click apply it will apply the preset to the selection and it'll start off the screen and it'll zoom in from the left. So I'm going to click apply and now I'm going to close my preset motion uh, tween and I'm going to give this a shot see what it looks like. So there's my name flying in and I go all the way to the end and I notice there are no frames here therefore my name is not visible. My name is only visible between 25 and looks like 48 so all I have to do here is go over to the end and in that frame I'm going to right click and do insert frame. So now when I play my movie when I press command enter or return there's my movie there's my name flying in. There it is. So now I'm ready to go on to the next step which will be to stop the motion of my flash animation by adding a stop action. That will be the next video.